It was a very good baby, to be honest. Oh, it no. did not even bother me one day. I'm sorry, see? It's just that. Marietta, Christian's mom. <laughs> well, he was, um, he, he, he played with St. Kevin's boys. Hi, I'm Kyle I'm Jaden's brother. Hi, I'm Dara. I'm Jaden's mom. He's always been a very active, active person. So Jaden, he was kind of like um, a happy baby, um, always smiling, always joking, kind of stuff. I remember he um, walked at 10 months, and that was because he was basically chasing a ball, um, or trying to get to a ball that had rolled away from him. Um, he actually did both codes, game football and football, or soccer, but football was really college, um, for as long as he could. He combined both, sometimes it's difficult, we used to change from going from Kevin's match to a Whitehall GA club Gaelic match in the back of the car from one set of gear into the other um, and that's what we did for a number of years. The only thing he wanted, he always had a smile on his face. He wasn't one of those children that, you know, um, he was quite quite reserved but then when he needed to do something he'd done it. Um, and we knew he was going to be good from year two. To say, I think when he was two years old, he just loved football every time he's holding the ball all the time. <laughs> then uh, when he was six years old, we looked for a team for him. Uh, in fact, we were walking down the shopping mall then we saw someone uh, giving out flyers for football. Then he was so excited that, oh mom, look, they're giving out flyers for football. I want to go there. Like, okay, we'll go there, no worries. He, he used to love doing kickups. <laughs> He, he used to do just kick-ups non-stop and I, I would be there because I would be there counting and he's, he would sometimes just reach thousands of kick-ups and it's, it's crazy. I, I, I would walk off sometimes, I'd come back and he would be in the same <laughs> set of kick-ups. He wouldn't have changed. Yeah, I'll go downstairs in the living room and I'll see him watching that. Um, we used to have something called Santanta Sports, I don't know if you remember that. But those some Panther sports. He used to have like the football old programs about like old football players, documentaries, the lot. I used to fall asleep to those. He'll be sitting there watching it, taking notes, literally taking in everything they're saying. He's not shy now, but Kevin's a quiet guy. He, you know, he's a he's of quiet disposition, determination, you know, and he, he always wanted to follow his dream if he could. And if he got the opportunity, which he was lucky to get, and so he did. And um, we were always um, you know, nervous about him going because he went so young at 16 and because he was a, a quiet demeanor, if you like, um, would he be okay? And of course, you worry about him. His mom in particular was really worried and missed him terribly at the start. Um, they used to, uh, if, if you have been away and he sent a message saying, Me at seven, Krishna will be up at five at my door. He already dressed up. <laughs> and he was sent by to book and I would just come out and um, in the background see him dressed in his thing. I said, well, Christian, they said meet up at seven. He said, yeah, well, I don't want you to book it. <laughs> yeah, we were at yeah. Family and friends now, they always say he's always been a good boy. He's always been like very polite, down to earth. He's never given me any problems at all. So he's very, very... <laughs> I don't know about professional, but very, I'm very down to it, I'm... young man. <laughs> he, he, he's so determined. We we were like we were best friends. We are best friends. We've been moved. We moved around a lot, and uh, the, uh, with every new location, I made new friends. I came into contact with new people, but we we stayed. Obviously, we stayed together throughout the whole time, and that made a quite a strong bond between us. Formula One, the, whole, uh, the debut, I was going crazy. It was a great finish as well, so even more so. But yeah, I was going crazy, going wild. I was getting calls left, right and centre. Dad was calling, mum was calling, friends were calling. I was like, let me just take in this moment. <laughs> Remember what, I mean, that match, um, I think it was a brand new match. I was at home and I was by myself at the time. And I had my TV up like, full blast and when he got scored I literally was jumping around my bedroom like screaming. My neighbours must have thought like I'd be mad at the time. <laughs> yeah, it's back up to me. To make his league his, his first proper league championship start, 
against West Brom. Start the season was absolutely amazing. Um, I'm brilliant. I'm brilliant for him. And we're so thrilled. And I'm proud of him, actually. Absolutely. But we're, we're thrilled for him. And that um, all his hard work is beginning to pay off. Good, great from you know, it's, 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 it's sure that's when you go over 16 from Ireland, it's every kid's dream to, you know, play for first team. So when we say school to go, I look behind. I saw this person running, <laughs> running from corner to corner. And I was, I was jumping up and down. And another guy was behind me. He said, who is that? That's your son. I see you. And he grabbed me. And the two of us were shouting. <laughs> oh, I, I couldn't control it. I couldn't control it. And when he, the, the second one was an assist. I was off my seat myself. I was giving people high five. And stuff like that. It was amazing. It was really amazing. I was really surprised because I didn't think he was going to come on. So when he came on, I was like, well, I'm, I get so anxious for him. Like my my heart is not pounding, my heart is bounding. I'm like, oh my God, he's coming in. And I was, oh my God, emotionally, I was like, oh my, my, my face was like, I couldn't control myself. I was smiling, mixed emotions at the time. Like, I can't believe that he's playing on there. And, uh, I was really happy for him. To see him on the screen with a crowd, is it's amazing because I, I i remember i remember watching him uh, back in back in almost well literally days and <laughs> in the academy days i would just tag along because i was i was very young i was tag along with my parents and watch it and i i, I was there i wasn't very interested at the time yeah. but to, to you see, didn't want to be there to at see all. him come from there all the way into a, a proper stadium with fans everywhere it was, it's really cool. <laughs> it's amazing. Like it's just amazing to see him, like his growth really. Like like from a little boy at Arsenal to now playing first team with Bournemouth, it's an amazing journey and it's just it's what he deserves as well, because he works really hard. I can tell he works really hard. And I know Scott Parker's got to be working hard for him to be starting for Scott Parker, then he must be doing something right. Yeah, just super proud. And just hope he keeps it up and keeps it going. We were absolutely thrilled. Um, and so proud, so so proud, yeah. And um, every every one of us, the whole family, extended family, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, cousins, stuff, all that. And we actually probably have an informal, unofficial former FC supporters club over here now, and um, especially in this around the side of uh, North County Dublin. Um, and it's not just relatives; it's friends, it's everyone. I'm so proud. You, you can't put into words how proud I am. You know, seeing, you know, having him there with you from year two and developing up and seeing that, that when they leave you, you don't know how they're going to go, you know, and I've, I had faith in him to go and do something, but I knew he had the, you know, the mental strength, the drive and the support from the parents. I mean, Sam used to be there every week for my matches. It, they support him and I know they've supported him all the way. Uh, you know, not only my family, but uh, Zimbabweans are like, they love football. They, it, they it becomes, um, they, they've actually sort of adopted him. They are his, that's his big, big family he has down there. And um, it was amazing, to be honest. And my dad was like, I can't believe this is my grandson playing. Everyone was so chuffed because they were saying, this child wasn't born here. He doesn't know much about Zim. So, so proud because um, uh, knowing that this is my, my son, <laughs> It's just so, it's unbelievable. I don't know, it's that feeling that you can't explain. You know, sometimes I'm like, am I his mom or whose child is this? It's kind of taking him all the time, but just to say that, you know, obviously I love him and I'm extremely proud of like the man that he's become. Um, and throughout his football career, he's pushed and pushed and pushed. And, you know, he's always stayed humble. He's not let it go to his head. You know, and that's all I can really ask. Just keep living your dream, do what you love, and we'll keep supporting you all the way. Um, yeah, it's been a journey, but keep going. Uh, you're definitely on the right track. Uh, keep up everything you're doing. Um, I definitely want to see some more left-footed goals and stuff like that, because we worked on that growing up. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, you're doing great. Just keep it up. Um, yeah, have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. Nanny loves you as well, and she's so proud of you. And so is your great grandmother, who's 84. Like, she actually sleeps with his programs on her bed. So, keep doing what you do, we love you. He's been absolutely great, fantastic so far. And we're all super proud of him um, and thrilled for 
everything's achieved thus far, albeit it's still very early days, um, and who knows where it's all going to end up. But, um, you know, we are really proud of them today. Um, and the last thing I'd say to him, and he noticed, because I always say to him, just keep the head down, keep working hard, keep listening and learning to the manager and coaches, um, and always do the right thing. Um, and at the end of the day, you can't do any more than that, Gavin. Um, and I don't doubt if you do that, and the hard work will pay off. And I think that's the most important thing. These are all good players, though. They're all over there for a reason. They're all technically good, otherwise they wouldn't be there in the first place at 16 or whatever. Um, but I think it's hard work and good attitude um, with a steely determination underneath and confidence, not cockiness, the confidence will bring you far. But I think it's hard work. Um, please, Gavin, keep up the hard work. I want you to keep working hard. You know, keep his head back up or down, which I will quick best for him. He should continue to work, you know, and be himself, you know, and respect others. Because normally they say if you want to be respectful, be respectful. I know he's very respectful. He's, he, he, he's been a very, very good boy and I've known him the most of the time. I remember his first game, we went to that game and after the game, I think he played for a couple of minutes and I didn't make him to run and run and run to run. I was so scared for him. You know, he never ran like that before. Alan said, that's what you will be doing at the AFC Bomo. That's how we play. I would say to you, I would say to you, um, don't do dirty tackles. Oh my and gosh. Be yourself. All the time. Don't Keep do Keep smiling, that. work hard. If you're tired, don't give up. Uh, just get some rest. And every rough path will be made smooth. And um, you will reach whatever height you want to reach as long every as you keep your head down and um, listen. You've got one mouth to talk and two ears to listen. So if he uses that, you will accomplish his dreams. He, he's such a, a down to earth person. He's, he, he's very, very calm and very strong, strong willed. I would say strong willed is, is a great, great fitting word. And he, he's like, a, like an anchor almost. He, <laughs> Trying not to be emotional, that's, um, yeah, no, man, man, didn't expect it at all, <laughs> but yeah, no, that was really nice. You know, it's like on Love Island when they, they see their family and that, because like that. <laughs> obviously I haven't, I haven't seen them too much, but yeah, no, that was really nice, yeah. Thanks, lads. <coughs> Thanks very much, that was very good, yeah. How does that make you feel? Yeah. Um, it's really good, yeah. I'm, you don't usually see him on the camera, so it's uh, surprising, yeah. Um, it was really nice, though, yeah. Really enjoyed that, thanks. Uh, I thought I was going to crack at one point. <laughs> What's your reaction to that, Chris? Oh, it's just like, it's just a good feeling, like, seeing them sat there talking, like, so highly of me, and then my old primary school teacher, who's, who's, like from years ago, he's always been there for me, still messaging me and stuff like that. It's just, it just helps like knowing that they're behind me and stuff. <laughs> I was, oh wow. Ah, oh. oh, you got to stop filming me because I'm not going to cry on the camera because that's just really, that's not me. But yeah, cheers, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that was class. Oh wow. How does that make you feel? Yeah, um, especially coming from her, like it's just, I couldn't, I couldn't explain like how close the relationship is between me and my mum. Wow. That's... Uh, I don't think I've ever heard words like that from him before, to be honest, but that... I was getting a little bit emotional listening to that. I appreciate that, guys. That means a lot. <laughs>